How's everyone doing today? It is your boy, Jay Beams, and we are here with another episode of the Bolton Wanderers Career Mode Series. We will be traveling into the Valley Parade to be facing Bradford City. Bradford City will be lining up in a 5-3-2. They are, this is a very defensive formation and they most likely will counterattack, which could be an issue for us as we haven't really faced many counterattacking teams yet. However, you never know what's going to happen. We will be continuing to line up in that 4-1-2-1-2 as Salmon gets his second start for the team as we have not made any changes to the starting lineup. Now, into the game. And so the match is underway. Sutton. It's opening up for them. And teammates to play it to. Well, a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, his form is sensational, Derek. He can't stop scoring. He's having so much fun out there. Consistent form, relentless hunger. A desire that goes beyond the norm. He's got that extra yard. He's a joy to watch. And firing it into the area. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Comley. He's in with a chance. There it is, the opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, you could be critical of the defending, but let's focus on the great play. Capped off with a superb, calm, calculated finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. One nil then. O'Connor. Evans. Novak. Cook. Gareth Evans here. Sutton. Clark. Well, no stopping him. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And he did well to cut it out. Doyle. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Clark. Cook. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. The reminder this stadium is a no Breaking at pace. Stadium. Please do not smoke in any part of the stadium. Beautifully Thank disguised you. ball, and he's in. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. So 2-0 now. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for Colchester United. 
19 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Clark. And an astute piece of defending. Well, the pass not finding its target. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Is it going to be? And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And then the brute force and guile in equal amounts sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? Well, 2-1 it is here. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for the visitors. 24 minutes played. 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Jones. Did well to win the ball back. Cook. Sutton. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Wood. An alert intervention. Cook. Sutton. Perfect tackle. The visitors are struggling with possession, really. But when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. A possession lost, intercepted. It's opening up for them. Good use of advantage by the referee. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Perfect challenge. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Over it comes. The keeper was up to the task. Well, it's a decent effort, but it's a real opportunity goes begging there. It's a perfect challenge. Sutton. Nicely timed tackle. Throw ins given. O'Connor. Sutton. Cook. Clark. Evans. And can they make one of these passes count? Oh, surely! And the keeper getting across to stop it. Corner kick played in. Well, there it is. Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves level.
Well, here's the replay, Derek. It's a good, strong ball into the box, and he gets up for the header, and quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, he's furious, and why not? They've thrown this lead away. Goals are plenty. Two, Goal two. Bradford City, number nine, Lee Novak. Doyle. Doyle. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. So the referee blows his whistle for half-time. A tense contest so far, Lee. What have you made of the visitors? Well, Derek, their goals for column has been boosted yet again by some very good offensive play, as it always is. But the coach will be upset by the holes in the back line. 2-2, though. It's all set up for a cracker in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Comley. Jones. Doyle. There to win it back. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Owen Doyle. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Well, there's been a lot of chatter about this on the internet and much written in the newspapers. Now, I'm told the deal has gone through. Kyle Walker has completed his move to PSG. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around £55 million. That's the type of money you have to pay for a quality player these days. And he is quality. Make no mistake about that. Clark, this looks threatening. It truly is a comeback and a half. Well, we see it again here, and the pace and accuracy of this passing is a dream. And the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Well, the coach can feel this game slipping away, I'm sure. Might need a plan B. You can't really say defences are on top. 3 2. Number nine, Lee Novak. Ali Crawford. Jones. Doyle. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Sustained pressure, and now they have the ball. Jones. Oh, they have it again. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Oh, big chance. An important challenge, but they must remain organised. Can they get in behind them? teammate and support he's got to score and that's the hat-trick tearing apart this defense time and again they simply can't handle him well here's the replay and the passing move is almost unstoppable the movement is key for me but well, then there's plenty to do from there he's hit it so well lots of pace lots of power and the keeper just can't react in time 
Great strike. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Crawford. Into the advanced position. Has plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. Cook. Excellent defending. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Evans. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers. And really... Can he finish? It's still alive. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp at the second time of asking, but first time around, it was a good deal more complicated. It's a fabulous save initially. He gets the ball in the end with great relief. So a personnel change then. Inside the last quarter of an hour. A chance to eat into their lead. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here it is. You have to say they've come under an awful lot of pressure today. But it's a sucker punch. They've gone up the other end and got a well-taken goal. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fine in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. High quality defending. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Cheltenham Town. Ten minutes remain. 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Time is not on the side. This corner could help their prospects as they look for an equaliser. Substitution for Bradford City. Coming off the pitch, number nine, Glenn Novak. To be replaced by number 10, Clayton Donaldson. Played into the centre of the box. What a vital intervention. Real danger. Couldn't hang on to the ball. A foul, but advantage played. Disappointing pass. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. This could square the game. But no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, he's the last line of defence for a reason. The back four looking back, and he saved them. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a dangerous set piece into the box. And what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Fantastic goal. Well, the happy times are back. The coach is more than delighted by his team's response. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Harry Pritchard. Donaldson. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. And he takes it away. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? Cook. Donaldson. Oh, that's a penalty. Another crucial phase in the game. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. Over it comes. Did his job defensively. Outdoing his opponent. Really good challenge. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. And with play having stopped, a chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. And firing it into the area. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Using his strength to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to arrive. And so the final whistle is sounding. At full time, we would end up drawing 4-4. Four Honestly, this was a very surprising game to me, as I did not expect us to have such a high-scoring affair. However, th these things happen, and we can look to build on this, as our offense did well, but our defense did not do so well. And we're definitely going to have to look to kind of find a consistency within the team. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure that you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.